Hello to the beautiful people. This is Dash and today we'll be exploring my top five paintings in Minecraft. As good a place to start as any is in the wasteland. Now, what you are viewing is a picture with the same name and it seems aptly titled. I mean, it looks like one big yellow blur. But when we use the magic of computers and pull up the original image by Christopher Zetterstrand, you start to get a better grasp of what is truly happening. This scene reminds me of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, believe it or not. It's about the bunny. When you go into the dark world and you take the form of a rabbit, you're so helpless, so not ready to face the trials ahead. And this scenery, with what appears to be the desert, it's that feeling of building a house out in the desert biome in Minecraft and I never want to venture out for some reason. I'd rather sit inside and see the harsh, arid wasteland from a reasonable temperature. It's hot out there! Uh-oh. It's that nasty fiend, the Wither, back to ruin everyone's brunch. The Wither being a summonable boss from Minecraft itself. Now, in my travels, I came across a poem about the Wither written by a Minecraft player only known as D62. And I hope to do your poem some justice, D62, old friend. Here goes. I'm a bit bitter about the appearance of Withers. He shoots explosive skulls black and blue as well, and villagers scream, run and ring the bell. The alarm goes off and everyone flees, but the wither gets everyone to their knees, and anything that's in the path will fall beneath their unholy wrath. That is why everyone shivers at the appearance of those goddamned withers. Great story, compelling and rich. Game Shop's jam. The original Donkey Kong, level 100. Most of us have no idea what it looks like. Coincidentally, most of us still have some remnant of our sanity. Yes, three levels into this game and you're gonna drop one of these bad boys. I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her. My room for all eternity in the center of a dead Buried alive. Buried alive. Come! Come! Except Kong instead of Khan. You get it. Now excuse me while I go cruise on my swordfish. A skull on pixelated fire. In the background, there is a moon and a clear night sky. Well, that's the official description, but when you look closer at the original, you start to notice that even though the moon is behind the skull, the shadow is cast as if the light is coming from the front. To me, this picture signifies the mortality of the humble in-game skeleton. You see, you're probably familiar with skeletons in Minecraft. If not, then here's a fun fact. Skeletons hate the sun. No, they didn't tell me this personally, but they burn up in the sun and it straight up cooks them. So in this painting, you can see a backdrop of the safe moonlit scenery behind the skull, but as a large amount of light is cast over it from the front, like it's exposed to harmful rays and subsequently burning. The pixel fire could represent the fact that it's just in a game in which these rules apply, but it certainly makes you think of poor old Jack Skellington there. There is more top-notch artistry here. Get it? Yeah, you get it. I mean, Zetastrin belts out this gorgeous painting of the seaside with a plant and some little chicks and look, a painting in a painting. But no, that's not good enough. Not enough Minecraft happening. So when it was pixelated, the old creeper did what is probably one of the first creeper photo bombs ever recorded. This creeper, being the sleuthy sort, actually inspired a song I wrote, believe it or not. Once there was a creeper, he was all alone. One night he looked at the moon and said to himself, man, my life blows. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to stay one jump ahead of the breadline on all the latest games, guides, and beautiful top tens, slap the subscribe button. If you want to stay one swing ahead of the sword with all the latest gaming news, trivia, and even competitions, head on over to Gamepedia.com, which is linked in the description below.